corner here is called the wagon wheel. Um, basically, uh, first corner when you pull out of the pits, actually. Um, this corner here is a double apex corner. It's kind of more of a square, okay? Um, some tracks probably label this corner as two corners, but it, this track is, uh, in actuality, it's only one corner. Um, so, the, the best way to get around this corner is kind of connect the dots, and the dots on this particular instance is the cones. Okay, so uh, as we're coming through the, the rattlesnake, we'll, we'll, we'll be locating this first cone here on the inside, coming through this tight left-hander, right? We kind of want to get as close to that cone as we can as we're coming through there, and then let the bike drift out wide and get out here closer to this cone out here behind this, uh, this Dodge uh, truck back here. Um, we probably don't need to get all the way out there, but as you can see, there's three lanes of, of traffic here uh, with, the, with, the, with the seams. And uh, you want to get out here into this third lane, okay? Just somewhere in this third lane is good. That's plenty close enough to that cone. Uh, and then as we come through here, we want to take our vision and move up and find this cone up here, okay? And then, as we found that one, we want to find that one on the outside of the corner. Way up the track there. And, and if you just continue to look at those three cones as you come through here, then this corner will be nice, smooth, and it'll give you a good idea of where to be. Um, sometimes uh, I, I follow people and they want to run, run around this corner on the inside of this seam, uh, of this first seam. And what that happens, what, what happens there is you've really tightened up the radius of this exit right here. And uh, if you look real close, it's off camber, okay? And then you've also tightened up the corner, so therefore the likelihood of crashing is, is uh, gone up greatly by doing that. So we want to make this corner as big as possible. The bigger, the bigger the radius of the corner, the less lean angle it takes to make it through it, okay? And the less lean angle we have, the safer and, and faster we can go through the corner with, with, uh, with uh, less uh, episodes. So, uh, yeah, let's move up to the next corner, ricochet. Yeah, let's turn around and take a good look at this corner here. Um, if, if you look there, you can you can see we've kind of we've kind of come downhill about two stories here, uh, making this corner a very very fast corner. It's actually one of the fastest, most technical corners on the whole track uh, for a few reasons. Why? Okay, obviously because we're coming downhill two stories and, and you gain speed as you come down come down that hill, and you also as you go into the corner really break a whole lot maybe more like just kind of roll out of the throttle to get the bike to transfer weight to the front to get it to steer into the corner uh, you can also see that we've got a series of cones here also and it, it's kind of real similar to the, the wagon wheel you know you've got a turning cone an apex cone and an apex cone um, but unfortunately that cone right there is in the right spot as a turn in but if you wait till you get to that cone to turn in, you're probably going to be out here in the grass because this corner is so much faster and it's a wide corner. Uh, and it's kind of hard to see that cone as you come in. So you almost kind of want to be turning in before you come over the hill. But this curve that we have on the inside here isn't a perfect circle, okay? It isn't perfectly uh, symmetric. It's, uh, uh, it's kind of a little notchy as you go around and it's got some spots that kind of stick out a little farther than other areas so you can actually kind of hit the curb in one spot and your 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 angle that you're taking through the corner the, the curb actually comes out into you a little bit so you can hit your cases on that curb right here where this cone is so you've got to pay real close attention to where that cone is because where that cone is is the farthest spot out on that curbing okay so try not to get up against that curbing before that cone uh, that, that, that being said, also as you come through this corner, because you're going downhill, if you don't get close to that corner, then the track's going to start to drop off on you because it's off camber, okay? So the wider you go, the more off camber it is, okay? And plus, there hasn't been a whole lot of people ride out in that area, right? Uh, and the cars will throw a lot of rubber out there. And if you look real close, you can see the little debris of rubber, okay? So this corner is 
very technical. You've got you've got to really try to come through here nice and smooth. Don't try to come in too, too, too fast because then you're going to end up in this area out here. And uh, as we know, run off, running off the track on, on a sport bike uh, with, with, with slicks or DOTs isn't, isn't the best idea, especially at high speeds. Um, so let, let's, uh, let's pay, pay close attention coming through here. And just kind of remember what I said about taking a good look at the apex cones and stuff, kind of be close to that as you can. And then as you come through here, right, you don't want to come out here over by this inside truck here. You don't, you don't want to be where these trucks are. A lot, of, a lot of people I follow come through there and, and that's where they end up. By doing that, you also add a lot of ink lean angle right there at that, at that cone and, you, and you're uh, uh, adding a greater possibility to an accident by adding lean angle as you go through an off-camber corner with a lot of speed, okay? So we want to kind of kind of get the truck or the bike out here to where this truck is and there's an exit cone right here by us. So yeah, so you know, we kind of want to kind of want to aim at that, kind of want to get into this this uh, third lane that we call right here, okay? All right, let's go down to the next corner, uh, Little Bend.